You can pull more trash out of your trash bag. More trash out of my trash bag. I don't know if you saw this. I don't think you did, because I did this over at Stone Oak. Who? Did you see this? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh, because I it performed at it at Harvest. That's right, because it says there's there's Harvest, <laughs> performed by Rick Siegel, the director, Conservatory of Fine Art, Harvest Schools. I forgot this was the poster for the Harvest one, because we did it also at the Church at Stone Oak. I like Oak. how they called it, uh, Conservatory of Fine Arts. It was a private school. Well, the school, but... but it's with, a fancy name for a shitty school, No, Rick. but within the private <laughs> school, we had a Conservatory of Fine Art. Because you just called it that? Yeah. There was no fine Def- artistry done there. Lies. Lies and propaganda, there was. I watched it. Yeah, there was. You were good. Well, thanks. Well, not in that. Just- Hey, welcome back to our Super Directs of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks for your follow blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, what? Huh? What, what? is happening, Corbin Miles? Do, 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 do. What is happening, Corbin Miles? Do, 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 do. What is happening, Corbin Miles? Do, 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 do. I'm about to tell you. <laughs> Gross. Uh, today we got a video. Uh, this is something. Read this. Uh... It is, a, is that a, is there, is there, is there, yeah. Kataki Matagokar is a famous Marathi singer and actress, and in the video she's singing a slow meditative classical song in which Sant Tokoram, a 17th century Marathi saint, is describing the ecstatic state of mind that he's experiencing while remembering Lord Vitala. And if I've pronounced things, everybody, please forgive me. You did pronounce that. I, I don't, I, I, I don't intend to mispronounce. It's my ignorance. Uh, the meaning of the lyrics of the song. I want to speak of Vitala. I want to see Vitala, and I want to make Vitala my very own. With this uncontrollable desire, my mind has become very greedy, and it does not wish to come back to the world. The knots of worldly bondages come undone, and I was leisurely able to hold Vitala in a deep embrace. Tuka says, my whole being is filled with the Vitala through and through, so no place is left for the desire and anger. They had to vacate their abode. Thank you for uh, letting Thank you for and that. And is that the word uh, that we always sing in, in Mahesh Kales? Right. Is that the Vitara, Vitara, Vitara? Is that what that is? Am I just saying it completely and utterly wrong? Or maybe that? he's pronouncing it that way because that's the way it's pronounced. Well, he's Marathi, so he it, would be Marathi. Uh, He would be pronouncing it. In Marathi. Properly, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Vitara, Vitara, Vitara. That's probably Yeah, and he had us echo it back. Yeah, he did it for us. He did. He even shouted us out in his concert. He did. And he did. spoke English in that part. He did. The rest of the time, he did not. No. But it was wonderful. It was, it was absolutely wonderful. And then after his busy day and a busy day coming ahead, he graced us by sitting down with us. So if you haven't seen the interview, please... Please do. It did quite well. There's 150,000. Oh, wonderful. That's good. Which is wonderful. I because I, I always wonder because obviously the big stars I know I was like people will probably want to see this, but then like right. the classical singers I'm like I hope people but those are probably some of our most watched interviews. Well, they and they tend to be our best because when we start getting into artistry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the bread and butter a, for it us. Was a, uh, yeah. It was a beautiful beautiful experience. Yeah. Love Mahesh Kale. Really really sweet guy too. Oh. Oh. Okay, there was just a delay. Yep.
Is that the same song? Uh, it was right here on the screen. Uh, Un Mahesh Gale. Gale. I'm trying to pronounce his name right. Uh, did, and then the, that we sang at the, the, the concert. It sure sounded and felt like it, it at, just, at one point. It's just a different point. rendition yeah. of it. Yeah, um, it, it felt like it at one point. Uh, and obviously I'm saying, because I thought it was Vitere, but it's not. <laughs> I kept saying Vitere, Vitere, Vitere. But it's like Vitere. Yeah, v she was saying that she was a lot softer than I was, but she, that was just mastery at its finest. Yeah, I, I'm just repeatedly, and this one was one of the best, astonished by Indian classical music, <sighs> finding notes within a chord that in Western music we just don't use, mm -hmm. but. It exists in the harmonic series if you keep going down that path, but it's 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 staggering. It's just staggering. It's one of the reasons among many. It wasn't just the spirituality of India; it was the music of India that, that really impacted and attracted the Beatles. Yeah, because they understood that, and in, in their in their songs, especially the latter parts of their songs, they do some things with chord structures that make no sense when it pertains to Western music, but it does make sense in music theory. The, the, the kinds of modes that are used and utilized and accessed, it's not just impressive that they're used, but that a singer, <laughs> that a singer can find those notes. So if you're working, for example, in musical theater, and you're singing different parts, you're often gonna have to, especially if you're a lead, you're gonna have to f find a note in your head that wasn't really given to you in the chord that the orchestra played. But it's relative to the key in the chord. Mm -hmm. It may not be, it happens in Phantom. It's one of my favorite moments in Phantom where, where they have just finished singing and, and the Phantom hits a note at the beginning that is not given to you in the song that was just played. It's in a completely different key. There's nothing relative to it at all. But he, the singer doing Phantom has to know music well enough and be able to hear those things well enough to know hmm. that the first note I sing, a cappella, you've got to hit it because the orchestra is going to be in the right key. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, you're going to start either flat or sharp. She did that, not just once, she did it throughout the song. And there were so many times, usually when, if you hear me listening to classical music and I make an audible sound, it's because I can't fathom two things. I can't fathom that musically it was written that way. And even more so, I can't fathom that the singer so effortlessly found that note. Yeah. It's... As usual, gobsmacking. It's like watching someone painting... And you're used to the colors they're using, and then all of a sudden they do something, and you go, what the heck is that color? Where did that come from? Mm -hmm. It's that staggering. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought it sounded pretty. <laughs> <laughs> that too. <laughs> uh, but I'm stupid. Um, yeah, that was uh, uh, incredible. incredible. Uh, absolutely incredible. She's uh, incredibly gifted. Uh, what was and I'm that? sure we don't even know the half of it because to, to, to really appreciate her, you'd have to have an understanding of the art form itself to, to, to truly, you know, the, the people who know the art form can appreciate her best. Have we reacted to her before? I think we have. She looks familiar. Mm. I'm not seeing anything. No? Oh. Oh, she's absolutely... Beautiful to listen to. Incredible. Takes you on a journey. Uh, Just beautiful. Yeah. If there's more from her, please let us know uh, that we can react to because she was um, absolutely wonderful. Uh, you know, we love to listen to these classical singers and, and performers. And that's the interview started with uh, Ustaji, which is incredible. Unbelievable. Um, we've been blessed to talk to. Some of the greatest of all time at yeah. their crafts yeah. in Indian classical artistry uh, and acting, obviously. Yeah. Uh, directing. Uh, we, we've got to talk to a ton of people. Uh, and it's, it's really a blessing. And she's absolutely amazing. So please let us know more from her that we can react to down below. Josh!